friends welcome back now we are going to see the attachments on the posterior aspect of sternum so on the manubrium sterni on the posterior aspect on either side it gives attachment to the sternohyoid muscles on either side of the median plane it is giving attachment to the sternocleidomastoid muscles so these are the medial fibers of sternocleidomastoid muscles and below the clavicular notch we can see here below the clavicular notch so these are the two muscles gives um, these two muscles are getting attached on the posterior aspect of the manubrium sternum okay and also on either side so on either side it is giving attached to the parietal pleura so it is giving attachment to the parietal pleura so it is present on the posterior aspect so this one is uh, uh, the posterior aspect is nearer to the visceral organs so it is attached to the parietal pleura so like peritoneum the visceral organs are uh, covered by some fibrous uh, layers serous fibrous layers we can call it as which is having um, uh, outer layer and uh, inner layer so the outer layer is called parietal layer and inner layer is called as visceral layer the outer layer of the pleura is getting attached on either side of the uh, manubrium sternum okay next one is the relations regarding at this uh, manubrium sternum so we have seen so many structures passing through the inlet of um, uh, thorax isn't it inlet of thorax so the structures which are present on the anterior aspect on the anterior aspect at the middle so the same structures are again related to this posterior surface so one is the arch of aorta at the lower part arch of aorta at the lower part and um, brachiocephalic and left common carotid artery and left subclavian arteries these are the large arteries so one is the a right side brachiocephalic artery left common carotid artery and left subclavian arteries to the upper part from right to left so this one is right side so brachiocephalic left common carotid artery and subclavian arteries are related so like this or related on the posterior aspect and also left brachiocephalic vein left brachiocephalic vein and it is also related with the anterior margin of lung and pleura it is also related with the anterior margin of lung and pleura on either side okay so trachea so another visceral organ which is coming exactly at the median plane that is the trachea so trachea is present at in front isn't it and esophagus is present on the posterior to the trachea so trachea is related to the posterior surface of the manubrium sternum okay exactly opposite to the median plane in its upper half okay so this part is related with trachea okay now coming to the body what are the structures related to the body here so in the body on the posterior aspect on the posterior aspect or below at the lower part we can see from the third after not third fourth sternocostal joints 
okay it gives attachment to the sternocostalis or transverse thoracic muscle transverse thoracic or sternocostalis muscle from its lower part so from its lower part it gives attachment to the sternocostalis muscle okay and also on the right side so if you make into two equal half this is the right side half so this area is completely related to the completely related to the parietal pleura of the right lung whereas on the left side on the left side up the up to the level of fourth fourth costal cartilage it is related with the left parietal pleura and this part below this level it is related to the pericardium so this is also another um fibrous uh, layer which surrounds the heart that one is related on the left lower part of the body of the manubrium on the posterior side okay so on the posterior aspect of the body of the sternum i in the lower part of the sternum it gives attachment to the thoracic muscle it gives a uh, that is called transverse thoracic it is also called a sternocostalis and on the right side up to the median plane the whole length is related with the right lung parietal pleura whereas on the left side up to the fourth costal cartilage it is related to the left parietal pleura and below this um, area on the left side it is related with the pericardium okay these are the relations on the posterior aspect of the body of the sternum whereas on the posterior surface of the xiphi sternum here on the xiphi sternum we can see two muscles are getting attached here two muscles one is the transverse thoracic again that same transverse thoracic on the from the upper part transverse thoracic from the upper part here transverse thoracic from the upper part and near the tip near the tip that is the zephyr process tip near the tip diaphragm is getting originated diaphragm is getting originated okay so diaphragm is getting originated whereas this um, transverse thoracic on from the upper part on the posterior surface gives attachment to the transverse thoracic this is also origin and these muscles are also origin that is the transverse thoracic it is continuation up to the xiphi sternum okay from the lower part of the body of the sternum it is continued on to the xiphi sternum also so these are the attachments and the relations on the posterior aspect of the sternum okay thank you